I was working with an individual with brain cancer, and the family had come earlier that day to say goodbye to her. She, she was a mother. And when she left, the practitioner placed on repeat one of Ricky's CDs. The, the CD was entitled, I Found a Deeper Love, and just put it on repeat. And the lady listened to it just over and over again, you know, for, for a long period of time. And she'd been in, co in a coma. She'd been in a coma. Mm -hmm. And she spontaneously woke up and went home. And she's still alive today, and that was years ago. That was a, a few years ago. She, yeah, the the, the cancer disappeared. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it, the, the primary modality was prayer through the practitioner and listening to uh, Ricky's music over and over and over again while she was in a coma. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, sp she had a spontaneous remission and has not gone back to the hospital since. Mm -hmm. So that's just, that's just one case. Mm -hmm. um, recently, matter of fact, as recently as this past Sunday, a woman flew in from out of state to tell us about um, what she considered a miracle in her life. Her husband was in the hospital. He w had been diagnosed with prostate cancer that had begun to spread and um, he had diabetes. And he had another malady, but I don't remember what it was, but suffice it to say he was on tubes and um, laboring. And the doctor indicated that he was gonna have some kind of surgery the next day and the mother, uh, his wife asked him the doctor for 24 hours, mm -hmm. just to be alone for 24 hours, and they consented. Within those 24 hours, they took a stack of Ricky CDs and a stack of my sermon tapes, and they alternated C a music, sermon, music, sermon, music, sermon for 24 hours. That's all they listened to. Mm -hmm. The next day, his PSA had dropped from 17 to 0 0.02. His body normalized, and he left the hospital in one day. Mm -hmm. And so she was. She just was so excited she flew in to tell us this. <laughs> and those were the only thing that shifted was the music and, and the message. And the intention of the family for the healing to take place. I think that's a very necessary component.